asking like, oh, no, I should take them. You like some stuff. And then like I said, you know what, I'm going to go I'll listen to them tonight and decide whether I'll go out and wait. And I was like, oh, they fit. Oh, they like eight years or so I've just been like 70s German rock I got heavily into the whole kraut rock thing when that revival kind of happened so that's that's my big thing I think we all have sort of uh, pop backgrounds pop in like the flying nun New Zealand sort of sense of so I think that's part of it I don't know what I realize I think sort of eclectic too I mean I don't I don't tend to listen to a lot of a lot of current pop so I'm listening to older folk and classical and so it's hard to say how that actually impacts what I do. Yeah. I was in Seattle and Phil, had, who runs Terras, basically runs Terrascope, uh, had heard our first record and, and wrote us back and said he liked it and wrote about it. But I guess we weren't on the Terrasoc Seattle bill and somebody dropped out and we got thrown on. And, and then he said after we were finished, he's like, you guys can play everyone, something like that. So we were like, all right, thanks. <laughs> he's a great guy and the, the whole, the, the whole really vibe at those. In Seattle. He's such a huge right. music I mean, you can tell he just cares about the music, so that's our kind of festival. Yeah. <laughs> What's it like playing this year's Terra Stock? A lot of fun. It was great. It was really hard to follow, to play towards the end of this big rock day and play after Sonic Youth. And we played after a bunch of amazing Major vets. stars. Well, they weren't that night, though. Weren't they? They were the night before. It was Spacious great. It was Mind also playing yeah, in sub space. Yeah. 
it was just sort of a sensory overload, I think, by the end of that night. Do you like playing multi-band fest, or do you like being out on the road, just uh, just you and, and, and you know, the bands that are playing that night? I, I like, like I like festivals. Yeah, I like festivals, or or to be touring with a band that you you yeah. know and you like. Or, or, I think part of what's like hooking up with bands that you either know or you're excited to play with is always exciting. So to be part of a festival thing where you know some of the people involved and that aspect of it is fabulous, and then you also then meet and hear other bands that you just very excited about. It's great. <laughs> Some others a bunch, and that's been amazing. And actually, Mainliner was the first time we met Carol oh, Calbata, and they were incredible live. So that was a huge thrill. And Bardo Pond, High yeah, Rise, Pond. Well, Landing. I don't know if you mentioned them. <laughs> um, Hovercraft, yeah. Hovercraft. Hovercraft. Actually, every I would say most every band we've gone out with, we've been fans of. We've tried to only do those kind of tours. And this band, Comets on Fire. That we just toured with. That was really great too.
bass, her favorite bass. Well, I didn't break it. <laughs> Barrett broke Lucy's favorite bass. That was kind of a bummer. That was sad. I was sad. Yeah, was sad. <laughs> Mono bass player, can I borrow your bass? Who's all in here? Thank goodness for Mono! Are you guys lucky enough to be joining together? Yeah. Oh, oh man. Okay, broken equipment is the worst. Thanks a lot. We've never had so many technical problems. Everybody has broke something except me. Just because he can't fix it on the road that easily. I just, I just broke my floor tom tonight, so I, I put it back together with duct tape. Okay. Exciting meal on the road. That's easy. Culver's in That's Wisconsin. Nice. Yeah, what happened? It's just a it's just a trusted, much loved spot. If you haven't had a butter burger, well, yeah. But if you haven't had a butter burger or <laughs> Blue frozen like it. custard, it's just glorious. My favorite meal was was um, our friend Mary Beth and Rob. Rob cooked us a seven course meal. It was outside of Detroit, at their house. With pheasant soup with pumpkin this and that and salad and a wine with every course and steak and dessert and that, that was, was last tour that, that was was we haven't eaten too well this tour. You remember that time that we do you remember the time we ate pizza with landing? That was good. Yeah. Very memorable. That was really very memorable was pizza with landing. Yeah, good pizza. Yeah. And good, good company. Pizza yeah. 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 This was known for that. 
Oh, uh, Massachusetts. There's no good pizza in Massachusetts, though. Actually, in Northampton, there is. So that's that's where we were. That's, yeah. Was it Pinocchio's? No. 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 Uh, food in Japan was very memorable. Yeah. Little things with things on their heads. <laughs> <laughs>